host, Paul Turner. And today I want to talk about uh, preach what you want. Preach what you want. Don't be limited uh, by the fact that it's the holidays. Now, uh, I love the holidays. I, I, I love the meaning and the purpose of Christmas, which is Jesus, which obviously our culture has sincerely forgotten um, based on the, on the television commercials and the everything I see on TV. But as far as how it directs what I preach and what I, what I do, and, I, I, I don't, and you may be in a panic today about, well, what are my four messages going to be? And what, what do I need to drill down? Well, that depends on your audience, right? If you have an audience uh, of people who, uh, who don't truly understand the birth of Jesus, uh, who Jesus was, that he was the son of God, that he died for the sin, he came for the sins of the world, then yes, you got to drill down into your audience that this is a critical thing. This is a critical part of what we believe as Christians. It's a critical part of our faith, and uh, that's where we're at. Now, for me, uh, I'm not completely ignoring the holidays, but I'm, I'm not, and when I say holidays, I mean the trappings of the holidays, of the, of, the, of the compulsion to have to spend four weeks or six weeks or three weeks or whatever is, it, whatever is our, maybe even our Christian culture or our youth ministry culture says we have to do. Because my kids, uh, the students in this ministry, the majority of them, I'd say 80%, maybe 90% of them, get Christmas. They understand why it's there. Uh, for me, I'm going to be preaching uh, on the calling of God because that's where our kids are at. This is where I'm at moving into the new year that I want a bunch of students who, who sense and know what the calling of God is upon their life and how students should respond to that. And what is the calling? And how do you know you're being called? And what are you being called to? Now, am I going to weave the Christmas story into some of these things throughout um, the month of December? Yes. Uh, uh, and it may, it may be where I just do one week of the Christmas story to really drill down deep into it. I, I you know, I just don't, I don't really want to drill down into the wise man. And I don't want to really drill down into, uh, you know, some of the other factors and some of the other pieces and parts of the story. Not that I've never done it and not that I won't do it in the future. But right now, if you feel like you're in a panic, that you feel like this is what I have to preach versus what is necessary, let me free you up a little bit to say, look, I'm not doing it. I'm not spending four weeks talking about uh, the whole Christmas message. Why? Not because it's not important, not because it's not a vital doctrine of truth uh, to the church, but it's but the, not, but my audience and the kids that I serve, uh, and and really where I feel like the Holy Spirit is leading our youth ministry, it's just not where we're at right now. Really, right now, I am just fired up about the call of God and the call of uh, you know what God is doing in their lives. And this is a critical moment for some of them, and, and that's the direction I'm going to go. Once again, I'm going to weave the Christmas story, and there are going to be other points in time. The example, we have a lock-in coming up. Well, we're going to have somebody share and do the message on Christmas there. Uh, I may do some video things. I may post some video messages on Facebook. So uh, those kind of things that are that where I'm not going to use my main meeting time to go through um, the depth of the Christmas story. Uh, with our kids because most of them do understand it because I have covered it in the past. So what do you think? Do you think you have to spend four weeks talking about Christmas? Do you think you have to talk because it's the season, because you, because it is simply the time of year? Uh, does that, you know, bother you that we, you know, I understand that if you're a pastor of a church, you know, and you're, a lot of people are coming back you know, during the holidays that need to reconnect with the Lord uh, and maybe absolutely need to hear that Christmas message. Totally get that. But as a youth pastor, what do you think? Do you think um, uh, focusing two weeks, three weeks, four weeks on Christmas because you feel like you have to because the season demands it? Or do you say, look, I'm going to just do what the Holy Spirit tells me to do, and I'm going to preach on where I think we need to go as a youth ministry and focus on the kids versus the season. I'd love to hear your comments about it. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about the holiday season and your, uh, your, your method maybe of sharing the Christmas story and how many weeks do you spend on it. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the call of God. Uh, tell me what you're talking about. Leave me a comment down below. If you're brand spanking new, thanks for joining me today. If you would love videos like this in your inbox, please hit the subscribe button right there and they will come right to you. As a regular here, thank you for being a part of this community. Love to hear your comments and your thoughts about what you're doing in your youth ministries. Have a great youth meeting. We'll see you next Monday. Bye.